All right, I've got your weekend box office for you. Spider-Man No Way Home found its way back to the top. The film earned $14.1 million for a domestic total of $721 million. Scream dropped nearly 60% in its sophomore weekend, falling to second place with $12.4 million. Sing 2 made $5.7 million for third place in a domestic total of $128 million. The Western romance Redeeming Love, based on the best-selling novel, debuted fourth with $3.7 million. And The King's Man stayed in fifth place, taking in $1.8 million. All right, let's go downtown to our own movie stars, Mike. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet of you. You know, with Valentine's Day coming up, you know, yeah, yep. why not be sweet, okay? But it is cold outside, so maybe you want some fun ideas to kind of keep the kids busy on these winter days. Yeah, and nothing that gets plugged in, and Christy Cuthbert is here, our favorite mom of four boys. What's going on? Well, we're deep in the heart of Texas, y'all, so let's do some indoor target practice to keep Yay. our kids occupied. Okay. okay, so, and, oh, hey! What? How many points does he get for that? <laughs> Oh, oh, hey, this is fun. Heart shaped okay. balloons. With and we have got some s'mores that we're going to be making. And how about sumo wrestling? She's got a great idea for that. All right, that's for the mm -hmm. kids, but how about just for the romance yes. and the two of you? Mm -hmm. how well, about Sweet little... Made Cakes is here to show us some romantic treats for your Valentine's Day plans. How gorgeous is mm -hmm. that. And get ready because yes. it is the second annual SA Live Pie competition, and we've got a surprise all-star competitor joining the challenge this year. I have to say, I won last year. Oh, not, did you? Not that I'm bragging, <laughs> and I'm gonna see if they can, uh, you know, knock me off the pedestal or off the pie plate, I should say, so. And we are going to talk with some of the, uh, couple of the voice actors from American Dad. It is a great cartoon. It has been around for How going on 17, 17 seasons, seasons? Yeah. and they've, Renewed for even more seasons after that. Oh, yeah. All right. So all that and more when SA Live continues in just a few minutes. Hello, everyone. This is your daily tech and business briefing from Cheddar News. Pfizer CEO Albert Borla says he prefers an annual COVID vaccine to periodic boosters. Borla made the comment during a time when countries worldwide continue to experiment with more frequent booster shots that as the Omicron variant rapidly spreads. Now the CEO adds that an annual vaccine may convince more people to get vaccinated and would be easier to remember instead of getting booster shots every few months. Meanwhile, mayors throughout the country may be considering narrowing the income gap with cryptocurrencies. Guaranteed income program for poor citizens were one of the ideas floated at the U.S. Conference of Mayors. This comes after mayors in major cities like New York and Miami have begun to embrace cryptocurrencies, believing, believing it has the potential to transform their cities. And Peloton's volatile week ended in scrutiny after a character on the Showtime show Billions suffered a heart attack that after using a Peloton bike. Now, Peloton says they did not give the show permission to use their brand on the show. Now, we won't spoil the season premiere for you, but this does come just a month after a similar scenario took place on HBO's Sex in the City, reboot. And that's your Cheddar News Business and Tech Update. I'm Baker Machado coming to you from Cheddar Studios in Lower Manhattan. All right, we're still stuck around 50 degrees with some drizzle out there right now, but there should be some clearing late temperatures mid 50s today. Some fog tomorrow morning. We're up into the 60s on Tuesday where we fall back into the 50s Wednesday and Thursday with quite a bit of cloud cover and then a small chance for rain Thursday and Friday, guys. Thank you, Justin. That's all of our show for now. I'm looking forward to these interviews with these people who play these, who are just voices. Oh, yes. You know, yes. These, of these characters. Do they walk around and like fool their friends and start talking in these voices <laughs> in the when voice. they're hanging out with their buddies? Or, or is it just like a one thing? That like, would be fun. You know, like Mike probably has several different voices. I'm sure he does. We'll find out because SA Live starts right <laughs> now. Today on SA Live, it is the second annual pie competition, and we've got a special all-star competitor joining the challenge this year. And how does one coffee shop stand out from the rest? See the one-of-a-kind twist you can find at a local cafe. We are going to be tasting food from all around the Mediterranean and even something from here at home. It is a brand new food truck. We're going to tell you all about it today on SA Live. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Oh, hello and Ooh. happy Monday. Ooh. Are you 
excited. Hi, hi, <laughs> get it? Ha 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 ha. Yes. Those look good. <laughs> oh, good afternoon. I'm Fiona Gorstiza. And I'm Mike Osterhage, and we are having our pie contest today. <laughs> it is the second annual, so the big question is I mean, those five pies looked amazing. What's your favorite pie? Favorite pie? I have to say, it is peanut butter pie. My really? husband makes this great peanut butter pie. Really? Uh-huh. I think that's one of the entries. Did your husband make that? <laughs> no. Ah, no. I'm going to go with, <laughs> gosh, apple. I like apple pie and ice cream. That's always good. And I got to say, your chest pie last year is really up there for me. A because very, he is the defending champ. A very simple recipe <laughs> like that. But we want to know what your favorite pie is. If you have a pie handy, bring it down here. We'll be happy to take it <laughs> off your hands for you. So just let us know, and maybe we'll uh, see that a little bit later on. So hey, since we're talking about sweets today, we want to help you get started for Valentine's Day. And our first guest has new romantic treats to share with your honey, your <laughs> loved one, your Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> Marie Valencia, owner of Sweet Made Cakes and Florals, is here to show us how to make it. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Oh, Nelly. I didn't know you were going to do that right then. I almost I didn't hit think the it was pop that quickly. <laughs> All right, so, so oh, we can't you'll probably yet. hear that sound a lot on Valentine's yes, Day. Yes, when you think sure. of Valentine's Day, you also think of, of course, strawberries and champagne. Absolutely, we definitely <laughs> do. And we actually have the perfect solution to bring a little more Valentine flair to that. So, we actually have some glitter strawberry bombs. You can see them right in the front working a little bit. Oh, yeah. So we're actually going to uh, enjoy some of that today. I always put you guys to work, so today we're just going to enjoy. Okay, okay, so you've got so, a little bit of, what is this, Cairo syrup? Yes, yes it is. So you're going to go ahead and rim your glass with that, dip mm -hmm. it in the sprinkles, and then we're going to go ahead and fill it with some champagne here, or Martinelli, whatever you prefer. Okay. <laughs> You have the champagne. Oh, you want the roast? Oh, right, go for Thank the good you stuff. so right. much. I'm not gonna drink Woo. alone. So. Oh, this show's gonna get so much better. <laughs> <laughs> and then okay. you'll just take one of the strawberries and you'll go oh, ahead okay. and drop it inside. Give it a little swirl, and it's actually gonna turn your drink completely pink and okay. sparkly. So that's really fun. So what is it with the combination? Uh, I mean, champagne in itself. You know, you have strawberries, but you put the two together, and it just. I mean, what? What's so special about that combination? It's just, it's the flavor combination. You know, why does chocolate and peanut butter work? Why does, you know, bananas and strawberries work? It just works because mm -hmm. it tastes good. Everybody loves it. You know, it's our favorite thing to enjoy. Um, you know, and it just, it sparks Valentine's Day feelings. And folks can get these from you, right? These yes, little Yes, ma'am, they definitely can. They're gonna come with our chocolate raspberry tartlet Cheers. here. And we'll actually cut a little bit of this for you guys if you guys want to enjoy some with your strawberries and champagne. Yes. Mm. All right. Mm. Let's do it. Okay. So right. that is oh. just a, a giant macaron, right? With yes, little it raspberries is. in there. Oh, it that's... is. It's a giant macaron. It's going to be filled with raspberry jam and chocolate butter cream, and then it's going to be decorated with a lot of fresh raspberries as well. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Now, so we're going to try a taste of that. Yeah. Now, we're so try go ahead and cut. But uh, if somebody wanted to order one of those how far in advance because Valentine's Day is it is just around the corner so we're taking orders starting February 5th and we'll be taking orders all the way through Valentine's Day okay and so what else are you offering for Valentine's Day that we're gonna be get? offering our chocolate smash hearts we're also gonna be offering lunchbox cakes emoji macaroons heart macaroons Ooh. our classic baby Yodas that we have every year so we're gonna be offering all of those this year as well. Okay, and of course, wedding planning season is happening. Oh and my you goodness. do wedding cakes, look at that, is that a, oh, oh, oh look at yes. that wedding cake. That wow. one was definitely one of my favorites. Oh, is yes. that the map of the world? Yes, it is. Oh, wow. <laughs> and there are the Yodas, oh, the baby and, Yodas, okay. And if y'all remember, a few months ago when you were on, you were talking about the, the smash chocolates. You made. Yes, we did. And, and it's a hollow chocolate, and you can yes. put anything that you have special, I mean, I guess packages, whatever, yes, that you put in there. Yes, we do. We, we have a lot of sweets that we can offer to fill it with. You can fill it with anything that you'd like yourself jewelry. Uh, you can propose with it if you really want to. You can break up with somebody if it's. <laughs> if Valentine's Day is not really your thing this year, so we can really <laughs> fill it with anything. Um, and uh, yeah, and then wedding season is coming up, so uh, we're right in the midst of accepting a bunch of orders. So if you're getting married this year, you still need a cake, let us know, call us, send us a direct message. Be happy to get in touch with you. Okay, if you like decadent sweets, this is a decadent sweet. It is one of those things where you 
can only eat a small little piece of it because it is so good. <laughs> it is so good. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. I would, okay. Now don't forget, you can start placing your Valentine's Day order with Sweet Made Cakes on Saturday, February 5th. For more information on Sweet Made Cakes, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just snap the QR code on your screen. Which will be up there yeah. in just a second. And of course, Mario's gonna be back to judge our second annual SA Live Pie Competition. Our SKSAT amateur bakers have made our own homemade <laughs> pies, and we're gonna see if anyone can take down last year's champ, which was who? <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it was Mike Osterhage. And we also, now for the bakers, are from this team here, mm -hmm. and one of them is exclusive to the newsroom. Oh, you'll Ooh, find out who that, that is, uh, you know, kind of ahead there in the show. All right. Yes, indeed. All right, we love putting the spotlight, of course, on new businesses, and today we're going to share one on the far northeast side that sells coffee and ceramics. <laughs> yes, Judd Tobias Fesky, of course, takes us there. It's a place where coffee and creativity come together in one local shop. Today, we take you inside Curator Coffee, where every cup is served in a handcrafted mug. Yuli Chang is the owner here at Curator Coffee. When she's not in her shop, you'll find her at home working on her pottery. She proudly makes many of the mugs you'll find in the shop. And yes, you can purchase them too. So something very different is that we not just use the local roaster, but we also serve all our hot drink in the mug that we made ourselves, or our potter friend made it. So our logo represents people, our creativity, and coffee, of course. Yeah, so uh, it's weaving up those four elements together um, because people are all different, and that's why we really value that. We offer different brewing options to go with the roaster that we're curating each season. Each lot or hot drink is served in these handcrafted mugs and her shop serves as a home base for other creators and artists to sell their work. Uh, majority of them are potter because I, you know, I'm, I'm more close to the potter community. I'm a potter myself. And um, we also have some uh, painter here. And aside from that, all the barista here is, can do either art or music. So we also have barista painted car, always available for $2 a piece. Only. Nice, hand painted, right? Yeah, awesome. and we kind of want to promote that, you know, art and coffee vibe. So every Friday, we also provide the event called Painting with Coffee. We teach you how to paint with using espresso and matcha. Oh. Yeah, so it's like watercolor and our barista will teach you how to paint as well. And it's only $3 per person and you got a free little lecture with how to use the news median. Here's a look at some of the customer favorite drinks. Our best seller is definitely the lavender latte and the blood orange green tea. So the green tea we serve here, we do the cold brew style. So that's something very different than other places. It does take us 24 hours to brew our green tea. So whenever it's sold out, it's out for the day. Um, but the way we focus on cold brew is so we can still reserve the nutritious from the green tea and healthier for our customer. Um, aside from that, uh, a lot of customers like the matcha with either rose or lavender flavor. She also has live music on the weekends. Obviously, people come here, they're supporting an artist, a local business, and this is something that got started back in with a coffee trailer. Yeah, and a then a car, a push a, cart. A cart, okay. Yeah, wow. <laughs> so from the cart back in 2020, yeah. and now you have a brick and mortar. So it's time to taste some coffee. Ready? Awesome. Thank All right. you. So that one is our best seller, is the lavender latte. Mm -hmm. And we do it very subtle, mm -hmm. it's not too sweet. Uh, we oh, still perfect. focus more on the coffee taste. Yeah, and, and that's one. the black orange green tea. It's also very popular, especially in the afternoon or when the weather is hot. So very refreshing. Yeah. yeah. That's the matcha with rose. So um, we kind of came out with this flavor. It's not on the menu, just between the berries, so we really like it too. Yeah. So yeah, highly recommend it. And if you're hungry, they have sweets from Scratch Kitchen. All right, Jones Malt Burger in Thousand Oaks area. You can come support a local business and your hours. Oh, we open every day. So um, Monday through Thursday is 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. 
And Friday, we do painting with coffee. We teach people how to paint with espresso and matcha on Friday at night. So we open from 7 until 9 p.m. And Friday is when we do music, art, and little open mic event. Um, for the weekend, we open 8 to 3 p.m. So just a shorter hour so all our barista can have a little weekend break. Be sure to come by and support local. For SA Live, I'm Jen Tobias Drusky. Still ahead on SA Live, a typical family uh, talking fish and talking alien. If you think that sounds kind of weird, yes, you haven't <laughs> even seen how weird it can get. We chat with two of the voice actors behind the hit show American Dad, hear what they say about the new season and the future of the show. But first, don't get cabin fever. We've got some hilarious, delicious, and most importantly, inexpensive ways to beat the boredom this winter. It's next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, colder weather has set in these past few days and weeks, and it has a lot of us staying indoors wondering what to do for fun. Yeah, not just sit on the couch wrapped up in a blanket. Mm -hmm. Author of Mischief Maker book series, Christy Cuthbert, our dear friend, joins us with some great ideas for keeping ourselves, and most importantly, the kiddos entertained on cold days and burning off a little energy too, right? Ah. Yes, that's what we're going to do today. Indoor right. sumo wrestling. And <laughs> all else, kind of a combo of WWE, hood rats, it's street fighting. Really it, right? you make of it. <laughs> so we take our dad's old shirts, yeah. we stuff them full of pillows, we move anything of value or that we care about out of the way that we don't want destroyed or broken. That's lamp. <laughs> that's, oh, God, that looks like, okay, yes. your house must just be a riot. Yeah. <laughs> it's not very quiet. So, so we you shake, said, clear yeah. some space, move okay. the break, move everything valuables. away. Shake hands, always oh. start, sportsmanship, and fight. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and it's really and cool. And they try to get past the laughing. Yes. This is almost a normal size t-shirt that I'd wear, and we have stuffed two pillows in the back here, and it really pads it up quite well. It I mean, does. It's, yeah, this is great. It does. <laughs> okay, we're going to be here for the rest of the hour doing yeah. this. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and that, of course, helps them expend that energy, because I'm already tired. Exactly. And once they expend energy, sugar them back up, right? Yeah, absolutely, and some creativity. So we'll start with some edible slime. Everybody has a kid in their family who likes to put everything in their mouth. This is a non-toxic, actually edible version of slime. So we're going to do a fourth of a cup of pudding, instant pudding mix, any okay. flavor you want. Um, I would stay away from chocolate. Looks a little... <laughs> <laughs> Not we'll edible after. Um, so you do uh, one cup of cornstarch and you do one third cup of warm water. Okay. Mix those together. Yeah, okay. you've got it right there. Okay. You're going to mix them all together and eventually, once you get your hands in there and really kind of get going with it, it turns into the consistency of a slime or a, um, some people call it like an oobleck where the cornstarch can kind of feel firm and then it kind of loosens back up again. Um, and it's edible. You can put sprinkles in there. You, you can do whatever you want. Your kids can play, play, play. Ooh, smells good smells too. Smells delicious too. It smells it smells like vanilla and bananas. Yeah. So. And we have some ready to go here too so you can see like once it's all mixed together, it's actually quite firm. You can play with it. You can stretch it apart and you can eat it if you feel like eating it. I will if you will. What does it? Okay. <laughs> One, two, two three. I took a bigger bite than you did. I know. Good. <laughs> it tastes like just like tapioca pudding. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. A little chalky. Yeah, yeah a, little, a little chalky. A little chalky. But okay. But you won't be going to urgent care if your kids right. eat it. So it's a safe. It's a safe option. Good. Good point. Okay. Everybody loves a to go camping because of the s'mores. But you can't necessarily camp on a day like this, so you've got a great solution for that, right? Right. We do indoor s'mores, because fun fact, it takes about 15 cents, seconds in the microwave to okay. melt down a marshmallow. So if you take a piece of parchment paper okay. and pick any option of a bottom you'd like. We do everything from cinnamon and honey grams to a chocolate chip cookie, um, as long as it's a nice kind of crisp cookie. Mm -hmm. You pick a marshmallow of your choice. We've got everything from cinnamon, rainbowed, regular, cookie dough. No, no sorry. Do, do it like this. <laughs> there you go. You're going to stick them in the microwave for like 10 to 15 seconds. Okay. Totally watch them because they start kind of ballooning out and can tip over. Um, so you're going to just kind of keep an eye on them for like 10 to 15 seconds. And they melt down pretty quickly. 
And then what we also did was, you know, you don't have to just do your regular old Hershey bar. You can do a Reese's cup. If you like coconut, you can do mounds. So we kind of did an assortment of different types of chocolates to go in it. You can Ooh, even do yeah. Nutella right. if you're a Nutella fan. And I love that. I love what you said. They have their, you know, they have their, their own choices. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kids, kids like to have their own individuality. This is an option, you know, to let them do something that's uniquely their own. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm going to do the peanut butter cup on there. Okay. Yep. Pick go your for your topping oh, look for at that. it. Right. Yes, and of course, indeed. you okay. have the. Uh, uh, the book club, right? Yes, mischiefmakerbooks.com. We have a book club. It's free. You can sign up. Every month you get a newsletter with all kinds of fun activities like this, as well as jokes, pranks, STEM opportunities. It's super fun. Mm. Mm. All right. Thank you so much. Thank Again, you. you can find lots of activities, treat recipes, and pranks. Of course, when you uh, join the Mischief Makers Book Club, for a link, all you got to do is head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just snap the QR code on your screen. I'm okay. loving this outfit. The pe I am you just, the you can take a nap cup? anywhere. You're just ready to go. The peanut butter <laughs> cup in there is great. Okay. Hey, still ahead on SA Live, our second annual SA Live pie competition. We selected recipes, did the work. Now, a local chef is going to judge who is the best amateur baker on the SA Live team. Plus, a special KSAT 12 star is joining the challenge this year. See if it's one of your favorite faces. And next, honoring our educators why a local credit union is giving a big gift to some San Antonio teachers and how they can also help you. That's straight ahead. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, it started off as San Antonio Teachers Credit Union, the first state chartered credit union in San Antonio. And now it's First Mark Credit Union, but it's still helping teachers in our community. And you're looking at some of the teachers who were awarded $500 each by the First Mark Foundation. And here with us today is Marissa Perez Diaz, Executive Director of the Foundation. Welcome, welcome. Good morning, Fiona. Good, Good to afternoon, see you again. I guess now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. um, so the last time we saw you, you mentioned being in the middle of the First Mark Educator Grant process. What's the latest? What's been happening? Oh gosh, so right before the uh, right before the holidays, we were really excited to share that we awarded 15 educators from across eight different school districts. So that includes Northside, Northeast, SAISD, Edgewood, Judson, East Central, Southwest, and Southside um, with $500 in educator grants to really um, have an opportunity to implement and innovate in their schools. And so it's really um, just a really great opportunity for um, First Mark Credit Union and for First Mark Foundation to give back to our um, our school district community. And what I mean, what better you know to give back? You know, because that's Absolutely. just going to help all the kids. You know, in in the long run. And so, what kind of programs does First Mark have on, say, the horizon to kind of help make an impact with uh, with members? Yeah, Fiona. So, in addition to the educator grants that we just awarded, we are actually right now in the process of um, going through our scholarship uh, our scholarship awards. And so that that process opened up on December first. It closes on February. February 28th. So anybody that's interested in applying for this scholarship, please visit our First Mark uh, website and oh, please apply. We are so excited to be able to help um, help our students just progress to the next phase in their lives. And I will say that five of those scholarship awards are dedicated to students who are going into an education track. All right. So. You know the, the five hundred dollars are being given out, but how, you know how can folks help out, and where will their contributions go? Yeah, so through the f through the power of the dollar checking account through First Mark Credit Union, we actually. Um, our, our members are giving a dollar each month to the foundation and so this truly is a foundation run by the members of First Mark Credit Union. So they're giving to the community directly and really um, have, a, have their hands in making an impact in our schools and our districts across the city. Now First Mark of course also teamed up with KSAT 12 to feature an educator of the month and even give them as we've been talking about that $500 gift card. So it's important, right, to of course celebrate and honor educators like this. Absolutely, you know, I, I we we all are touched by education, and we know that we have one special teacher or um, somebody who works in child nutrition who's really impacted our lives. So, what better way to give back? What better uh, what better community of professionals to give back to than our school district employees? And so, this is this is First Mark's way of really acknowledging and honoring our educators, especially after the last two years that's been really a struggle. We know how dedicated and committed they are to our kids, and so this is our way to rededicate ourselves to our, our education community. All right, here's all those teachers out there. Thank you so much, Mark.
party. All right, the information is up on the screen. You can nominate your favorite teacher to win KSAT's Educator of the Month. Just visit ksat.com slash educator for details. And for more information on First Mark Credit Union, just call 210-442-0100 or visit the website firstmarkcu.org. Thank you. Thank you. I never All right, up next, one of your favorite KSAT anchors and members of the SA Live team face off in the second annual SA Live pie competition. See if some of your favorite TV faces are as good as baking as they are at TV. You won't want to miss this. And of course, right now, polish up your resume. The JW Marriott San Antonio Hill Country Resort and Spa is hosting a job fair this Thursday. It's from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. at 23808 Resort Parkway. They're hiring more than 150 people in all areas, and they've got great benefits and flexible schedules, full-time, part-time, and seasonal. Apply before the job fair online at careers.marriott.com and use the keywords JW Marriott San Antonio, or just snap the QR code on your screen. Good luck. All right, welcome Ooh. back to SA Live. Wow. Five pies go in, but there can only be one winner. Yes, it's indeed. the second annual SA Live Pie Competition, and this year we have a special guest baker from the KSAT News team mm -hmm. participating. Yes, indeed. We're going to find mm -hmm. out who that is in a moment. But first of all, welcome once again. Mari Valencia, owner of Sweet Made Cakes, joins us to be our guest judge. Four members of the SA Live team, one from the newsroom. All of these pies are homemade and you get to taste them. What do you look for when you taste a pie? I am a total crust person. So I look for a good crust. I want it to be cooked all the way through to the middle, um, have a good sweet to salty ratio because there's a lot of filling going on, which is always usually very sweet. So that's what we're looking for. Cooked fillings all the way through, not under, not over. Really a lot of cohesiveness. That's what we're looking for. All right, okay, so we are gonna start with the first pie right here as I'm you take a taste. Uh, this started. is a cherry pie with a lattice design on top and sugar for some added crunch. There. Okay. And by the way, this year we're not revealing who the bakers mm -hmm. are mm -hmm. until the very end, so it remains totally anonymous. Mm -hmm. That's good. And since I have a pie in the competition, I'm not going to comment on any of the flavors here. You're just tasting. Because okay. they're all pretty darn okay, good. Okay, don't make any, don't nope. make any like, nope. you know, nope. obvious facial expressions <laughs> either. Like, mmm. <laughs> so we're just <laughs> snacking. We're just okay. snacking today. Next is we have the banana cream pie, like banana pudding in a pie with a graham cracker crust. Okay. Is this the banana cream? Ooh. The crust on this one is really good. It's really good. Oh, that is good. All right. That's very Third. good. Third. Okay. This is a no-bake oh. peanut butter pie with what? A Nutella cream drizzle. Okay. Are you serious? Okay. Oh, and right. it's easy to make <laughs> and leaves you wanting oh. more. It sounds like a dating profile for the pie. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> mm. I know. We, we should have gotten her some. I feel butter. like I should mix these. <laughs> oh, Just combine them. Peanut butter and, yeah, like a peanut butter and jelly <laughs> sandwich. That's. All right. Yeah. So next is a oh, yes. key lime pie. This okay. one also has a homemade graham cracker crust. Woo. Crust is a little. I'm trying to cut it. There we go. Okay. Maybe it got cold. <laughs> <laughs> Quite possible out here. Mm -hmm. All right. There's the taste. Mm. Woo. Really lime. A lot okay. of lime. That lime punches right coming, on through, it's doesn't coming it? coming in. Okay. Right through. <laughs> and last but, but not least. It's a cinnamon roll apple pie. Crust is rolled and buttered okay. with cinnamon, cut into mini cinnamon rolls, then pressed into a dish to create a cinnamon roll crust. A must for cinnamon lovers. <gasps> cinnamon roll crust? Oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta turn it over to get some of that. It's gonna make you work for it, that yeah. one. It looks like it's gonna be worth it though. It does. All right, let's see. Let's see if it's worth it. All right, so those are the five pies, okay? Sounds really good. And Mari is gonna narrow it down to the mm. top, top two, two okay. pies. So do you mm. have it in your mind, Mari, what the top two are going to be? Yes, I, I think so. Okay. Gosh, this is really hard. They all have like something different that makes them all really good. Okay. 45 seconds. 45 oh, seconds. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, definitely the banana cream. Okay. The crust was, it was the crust for me on that one. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, oh gosh, I gotta go with the cherry. 
Okay. I love a good ladder. All right. So we're, we're down to the top two. Now out top of that two. top two, are you able to pick the winner, the winning pie? <sighs> yes. Yes, I do. Actually, you know what? I think my favorite pie, I think it's going to be the banana cream Woo! for our winner. The banana cream pie is the winner! Yay. Congratulations, and, All right, and that Thank banana you. cream pie was made by SA Live's director, Jeff Saldana. He found the recipe on right, Pinterest Jeff. years ago, and it's now family favorite. He says the secret is the graham cracker crust, and he usually has a cocktail when he's making it, so he stays loose. <laughs> he stays loose in the kitchen. And the cherry pie, very quickly go down the list, who made what? Okay. Oh, the cherry pie yeah. was, of course, made by our executive producer, um, Diana, right? Yes. This is Diana's pie, right? Yes! Oh, okay. Yes, good. Diana. And this was the first pie she learned to do lattice work on. Her oh, family wow. always asked for this pie every Thanksgiving and Christmas. It looks hard, but it's easy to make. All right. And then the key lime pie was made by special guest baker from KSAT 12. It's Sarah Spivey from the KSAT weather team. She wanted to bring a little uh, bit of summer to winter, and this was her first time baking a pie. Thank wow. you, Sarah. And then next is our... No, nope, just but our, our cinnamon roll pie was made by SA Live producer Robert Morin, and he yep. found the recipe to surprise his husband, who is a huge cinnamon lover. They've made the pie the last two holiday seasons, and has never made it to their family gatherings. All right, we're lucky we made it to this and competition. And I get peanut butter. And yours, of course, this year yep. was the no-bake peanut butter pie made by Mike Osterhage. All right. Thank you so very much. Appreciate that. Thank you guys so much for having Congratulations, me. Congratulations, Jeff, our director. <laughs> Congratulations. <Hey. laughs> All right, next on SA Live, it's a taste of the Mediterranean here in the Alamo City where you can find this local food truck and get a taste of the exotic and delicious flavors. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, they're bringing flavors from around the world right here to the Alamo City. Imam Khadi from the Golden Meals is here to make a wide variety of dishes they have from really all over the Mediterranean and then a couple of good old American dishes. Welcome, <laughs> sir. Hello. How are, okay, what are we making today? And it's right in front so of you, right? So right now we're making the hummus topped with the beef shawarma. Mm -hmm. Okay, it has some almond and cashews with some olive oil with ground beef. Okay, so, so the hummus on there and the, level, the little yes. olive oil on there, right? Yes, so we're gonna put the hummus uh, mm -hmm. after that the beef and with some almond and cashews. Now, okay. what part of the Mediterranean would this dish be it's from? It's a Palestinian. Okay. Yes. It's and that's from the Palestine. thing, is you have uh, examples from kind of all over, right? Yes, that's right, yeah. We are from Morocco mm -hmm. and we have from uh, uh, Greek and we have uh, Yes. So some of the Greek dishes, like we've got the stuffed grape leaves here, and then of course the, the lamb, then you've got some falafel Yes. all over the Mediterranean. And what is the soup that looks the, absolutely, I'm dying the, to try. The soup is Harira soup, it's Moroccan traditional soup. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's a very famous uh, dish. Yeah, they use it a lot in Ooh, all wow. houses. Oh, that's good. And that's got um, chickpeas and... Um, and lentils in it, you said? Yeah, and some vermicelli, and some uh, tomato paste, some ginger, some garlic, and there is a lot of uh, 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 spices on it. Okay, so aside from all the Mediterranean dishes, then you've got just good old American burgers too, right? Yes. We okay. have some burgers, we have some Philly cheese steaks. Oh, really? There's yeah. something for everybody oh, my there. Yeah, and we have some panna cotta dessert, it's from uh, uh, Italy. Mm. And then we top it off mm. with uh, mm. some of that. Over yeah, there. some parsley, okay. mm -hmm. and we should be all. Oh, okay. my God. Oh, now, my God. where is your food truck located? Where can folks find you? Uh, my food truck is located in uh, Broadway, uh, uh, 281, 281 on Broadway. Uh, the address is 3500 Broadway Street. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So not too far from like Hildebrand and Incarnate Word? No, it's yeah. just two blocks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, after that. Okay. Yeah, we just opened like. Uh, uh, one month ago. Oh, still have the new food truck smell. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But we're doing good. We're doing good. If you had to point to a part of the Mediterranean, what's your favorite food? What region? Italian, you know, My Martin. favorite food is the hummus topped with beef. Okay. And I like the rice, Mediterranean yellow rice, and the falafel, of course. Okay. Yeah, those and dishes are more popular. The, and, the, and the stuffed grape leaves? Of course, oh. yeah. 
<laughs> and I'm you have a here. deal for uh, folks watching right now, right? Yeah, we have a deal for, uh, till the, uh, the end of this month for 10% uh, for each person came from, uh, from that you guys. That mentions SA yeah. Live, that they yeah. saw you on the show. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Just, oh, mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, and thank you, you for all this amazing food. For more information on the on Golden Meals, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or snap the QR code that you see there on your screen. Oh, your mom, thank you very much. That's delicious. Hey, next on SA Live, the wild animated series American Dad returns for a brand new season tonight. But the laughs start right now. We chat with two of the actors behind the characters. You don't want to miss this. That's like before Columbus to shut up. I'm gonna go. Get out of here! Ah, Steve's terrible at watching TV. Well, after 16 seasons, alien abductions, brain transfers, apocalypse after apocalypse, nothing can stop the Smith family and, of course, American Dad. The new season starts tonight, and we're lucky enough to have two of the stars join us, Rachel McFarland and Dee Bradley Baker, the actors behind the voices of Haley and Klaus from American Dad. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. It is our pleasure to speak with you. Very happy to be here with you. I love the German accent. Do you just kind of naturally fall into that? Okay. I do. I, I studied it in college. I, I really loved uh, the German culture. I found it fascinating. And uh, happily, I was able to kind of uh, insert that into my career. And now I can, I can at least speak in a German accent once a week. <laughs> Get paid for it. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. Tell us a little bit about the, uh, the new season and the insanely outrageous moments that we expect from American Dad. Our 17th season starts on January 24th, and, uh, and the show is as good as it's ever been. Um, uh, Klaus tries to pick up a telemarketer. He forces the family to recreate a German uh, children's television show. Francine falls in love with a frog. Uh, what, what else, Rachel? There's all kinds of insane episodes. I mean, it just keeps going and going. Um, Haley and Jeff really get into it because she, you know, is like, you're such a people pleaser. And then obviously figures out that she actually likes that he's a people pleaser. I think it's incredible what the writers are still able to put out 17 seasons later that there's that well is still so rich and they just keep drawing from it and i think this season is probably one of my favorites that we've ever uh, done it's absolutely hilarious our fans are in for a real treat so just when you think that you've heard everything that they can come up with, they come up with more. Well, you can go anywhere with animation, can't you? And if you've got good writers on board, uh, you, can, you can ride that wave uh, as long as you've got good writers on board. <laughs> and that the show has in spades. Uh, that's really, I think, the thing that keeps the show strong. It keeps it funny, and that's what keeps everyone coming back. It's really, it's, it's very much as good, uh, it's probably better than it's, than it's ever been at this point. And, uh, and because of that, uh, I think that's that's why the, 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 the wise network gods decided to pick it up for another couple of seasons, 18 and 19 coming up. We're already working on that. Um, so it's really, I mean, it's, it, it, it's a very lucky, fun wave to be riding, you know, as a voice actor. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really crazy. It's like when we all started this, I mean, I remember table reads that D missed because his children were being born and now we're getting our ARP cards in the mail. It's, uh, it's been a I'm not replying to that. I'm not sending that back in. I can't. Is, I can't bring I guess myself kind of, to do kind of it. a good problem to have, right? So, okay, what characters do you relate to other than your characters on the show? That is an interesting, interesting question. I mean, my favorite character on the show, um, you know, I love Haley, obviously. I've been playing her for, you know, the better part of 20 years. But Roger is one of my favorite animated characters, full stop, ever, ever written. I think uh, not only... The voice that Seth gives to him, which is so hilarious, but just the the way the, the the writers have taken him into this, you know, his constant personality persona changes all the costumes. It's just he's absolutely hilarious. And I think uh, part of what keeps the show so fresh is what they're able to do with Roger every episode. I'm mortified to confess that I relate to Steve in almost every way. This kind of cheerful, clueless, happy-go-lucky little nerd who's into magic and ventriloquism, anything that, like, repels women. I, I completely relate to that, uh, to his life and his predicament, <laughs> unfortunately. But, but it's like, man, I just relate to Steve way too much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very quickly, because I'm, I'm unfortunately out of time, but describe Seth MacFarlane in one or two Two words, each of you. Uber talented, generous. Slot machine, payoff. 
<laughs> Very good. I like that one. Very good. Ding 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 Thank you very much for taking the time. Congratulations <laughs> on, I mean, you know, going on almost two decades of this, which is fantastic in television. The new season of American Dad begins tonight, 9 p.m. PBS. Don't miss it. Have a great one. Thank you. Hey, tomorrow on SA Live, your graphic t-shirts and sneakers from decades past might be worth a lot of money. We check out a local shop that is selling and trading vintage streetwear and sneakers. Plus, join a club this year and learn a new skill. We play table tennis with the best in town. It's all tomorrow at 1 right here on SA Live. Ooh, ooh, all right. pie. We yes. asked folks for their favorite pie. Lori says buttermilk pie. Mm, good stuff. Apple pie, vanilla ice cream. Yes, Maria. Oh, nice. Strawberry Christina says ooh. strawberry rhubarb. Okay, my right. peanut butter pie, you said your husband makes it too? Mm-hmm. Whose is better? And answer carefully. Yours, hands down, it's got the Nutella. Is Matt He's gonna have watching? to step up his game. Is Matt oh, I'm gonna watching? tell him all about it when I get home. <laughs> wow. He's gonna call you. <laughs> mm. Mm. And Sarah, your key lime is delicious. Oh, this Nutella mic. I feel fat.